Welcome to worship on this Christ the King Sunday, or Reign of Christ Sunday. This is a day that was established in the 1920s to confront and combat the rise of fascism and dictatorships. This is the day where we remember that above all, Jesus is Lord and reigns over all things, both here on earth and in heaven. We give thanks that you have joined us today for worship. We pray that you find this worship uplifting, beneficial, and ultimately, and most importantly, that you are able to worship Christ the King with us today. Please take the remaining time to prepare your hearts, minds, spirit for worship.
Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, in whose image we are made, who claims us and calls us beloved. Amen. Holy One, we confess that we are not awake for you. We are not faithful in using your gifts. We forget the least of our siblings. We do not see your beautiful image in one another. We are infected by sin that divides our beloved community. Open our hearts to your coming. Open our eyes to see you in our neighbor. Open our hands to serve your creation. Amen. Beloved, we are God's children. And Jesus, our beloved, opens the door to us. Through Jesus, you are forgiven. By Jesus, you are welcome. In Jesus, you are called to rejoice. Let us live in the promises prepared for us from the foundation of the world. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and also with you. Let us pray the prayer of the day. O God of power and might, your Son shows us the way of service, and in him we inherit the riches of your grace. Give us the wisdom to know what is right, and the strength to serve the world you have made. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Hear the Gospel from the 25th chapter of Matthew. Jesus said to the disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will put the sheep at his right hand and the goats at his left. Then the king will say to those at his right, Come, you are blessed by my Father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food? Or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you? Or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these, who are members of my family, you did it to me. Then he will say to those at his left hand, You that are accursed, depart from me into eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. 
naked and you did not give me clothing, sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they also will answer, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not care for you? Then he will answer them, truly I tell you, just as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. This is the gospel of our Lord. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be pleasing to you, O Lord God. Amen. So starting two Sundays ago, so last Sunday and the Sunday prior, we had readings from the 25th chapter of Matthew. Today we had a reading from the 25th chapter of Matthew. We've covered that chapter. Now, a couple of things that we have to remember when we talk about this chapter is it's the last of five kind of great sermons that Jesus gives in Matthew. The first one being the Sermon on the Mount. We had that just a few days ago, a few Sundays ago as well, right? With the, with the beginning of it, at least, the uh, uh, Beatitudes. Then two Sundays ago, we had Jesus talking to us about always being ready, being prepared for the coming of the Lord, coming of the Messiah, the second coming. Last Sunday, the text talked to us about making sure while we are waiting, while we are keeping watch, we should be using our talents to further God's kingdom. We should be using those things that we have been blessed with to further the kingdom. Using our talents to serve our master, our Lord Jesus Christ. Today on Christ the King Sunday, a day designated to remind us that our Lord is Jesus. That Jesus Christ reigns over everything. We have the closing of this great sermon, this last closing, this last sermon in Matthew. And it's a judgment text again, right? The sheep and the goats. We want to be the sheep, not the goats. And there's there's a lot of people that spend their time trying to figure out, are they sheep or are they goats? Or there are a lot of people that point at others and say, you're a sheep or, you know, all that. And we lose track of the fact that here in these final words, Jesus kind of summarizes for us what it means to be a follower of him, what it means to to call Jesus Lord. We should be prepared. We should be using our talents. How should we be using our talents? Jesus tells us here. In one, one phrase. Whatever you have done to the least of these, you have also done to me. And the reverse, right? Whatever you have not done unto the least of these, you have also not done for me. Now we have to be careful. This can turn into this whole, we should do this because so-and-so may be Jesus or uh, an angel in disguise. No, that's not, at least I don't think that's what Jesus is telling us. Jesus is telling us, that anyone we serve, anyone that is in need, he is there. That is Jesus. So if we don't serve that person in some way, shape, or form, we're not serving Jesus. And that's hard, right? 
Pastor, we can't help everyone that comes with a handout. You're right. And I do think this does speak to us as individuals and challenges us and pushes us to live a certain way or at least try to live a certain way. But notice, notice in chapter or verse 32, right at the beginning of today's scripture. Verse 31 says, uh, when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. Okay, second coming of Jesus. All the nations will be gathered before him. So here we have Jesus actually judging not just individuals, but societies nations, organizations, all the things, units, right? And we, we know that there are things that we can do as individuals, yes, but there are things that we can do also as organizations, as societies that we can't do as individuals. So this is a both and type situation we have going here. So, the other thing we need to know about this text is that the very next chapter, Matthew 26, Jesus begins his journey to the cross. In fact, we get the message that the chief priests and the scribes, the the religious leaders of the time have gathered together. And then we hear the story of Jesus' feet being anointed. In just a few chapters, we have the crucifixion. We have Jesus' death. So this really is kind of in a way Jesus' parting message for his disciples, his followers, and for us, at least in Matthew. So remembering all that, I want you to hear this lesson one more time. Jesus said to the disciples, when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of all his glory and all the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate people from one another as, shep as a shepherd separates the sheep and the goats. And he will put the sheep at his right hand and the goats at his left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you that are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are the members of my family, you did it to me. Then he will say to those at his left hand, 
You that are cursed, depart from me into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick, and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they also will answer, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not take care of you? Then he will answer them. Truly, I tell you, just as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go into eternal punishment, but the righteous will have eternal life. Amen. and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often temptations Is there trouble anywhere We should never be discouraged Take it to the Lord in prayer Can we find a friend so faithful, who will all our sorrow share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in Despise for sake, you take it to the Lord in prayer. In his arms, he'll take and shield you. You will find a soul less
Let us confess our faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray the prayers of intercession. Longing for Christ's reign to come among us. We pray for the outpouring of God's power on the church, the world, and all in need. Sovereign of all, train our ears to hear your cry in the needs of those around us. Bless all social ministries of the church through which we seek to serve others as we ourselves have been served. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. You cause rain to fall on the just and unjust alike. Direct our use of creation to prov provide for the needs of all people in ways that are sustainable for the earth. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Bring peace to every place where conflict rages. Grant opportunities for any divisions among us. And usher in your reign of unity and reconciliation. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Heal the sinful divisions we erect between us. And release us from systems of oppression and prejudice. Restore our capacity to see your image in those whose dignity we have stripped away. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Pour out the gifts of your spirit on children and youth throughout the church. Sustain those who work in children's ministry, youth ministry, campus ministry, as they nurture the gifts of young people. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Thank you for the saints now departed who fed the hungry, clothed the naked, and tended to the sick. Inspire us by their example, that we may see your presence in those in need around us. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Receive our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, until that day when you gather all creation around your throne, where you will reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and also with you. Let us pray. Merciful God, we offer with joy and thanksgiving what you have first given us, ourselves, our time, and our possessions, signs of your gracious love. Receive them for the sake of him who offered himself for us, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. It's at this time. We continue our service by, with the giving of our tithe as an offering. It's an opportunity to return to God a portion of that which God has entrusted to us. We also are in the midst of collecting holiday support. Bethany is putting together 
some holiday blessings for the Brunswick Police Department, for two families that are associated with the congregation, as well as continuing to support other holiday programs. St. Paul's is in, this is the last Sunday to collect support for middle town valley people helping people an organization that helps not only provide holiday assistance but also helps families helps individuals that are struggling year-round so we ask for your continued financial support of the congregation so that we continue can continue to do God's work here in this place. Lord, 
remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May the God of all creation, whose image we are made, who claims us and calls us beloved, who strengthens us for service, give you reason to rejoice and be glad. The blessing of God, sovereign, savior, and spirit, be with you today and always. Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.